Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Randy here. Uh, take a quick moment to clarify a question that was presented a couple of weeks ago. We addressed on the YouTube channel, and it was with regard to the differences of SOF and the organizations. And I use an analogy of NHL and AHL that was misunderstood, and I received a few messages over the last uh, last two weeks or so. Um, people kind of pissed off or not agreeing with it who are operating in those organizations. I just want to clarify, when I used the analogy of NHL and AHL, I certainly was not suggesting for one second that I was talking about professional versus semi-professional. That's not it at all. The organizations under the soft umbrella, JTF2, CSOR, CGIRU, and 427 Squadron, they're all different and they all bring um, unique capabilities to the to the overall organization and differences are good and differences should not have a negative connotation now i used nhl ahl as an example of platforms in terms of professional hockey so for people that understand hockey um, you know, the East Coast Hockey League, for example, those are professional hockey players. Those guys are getting paid um, to perform as high level athletes. And then the AHL, the American Hockey League, same. It's another level of hockey and the subtle differences. But at the end of the day, they are paid professional athletes. And the AH, NHL exactly is the, uh, you know, the, the, the top, if you will. Um, that was the example that I, I, I tried to blend a, a comparison that was misunderstood by a few people. So I just want to address that quickly by saying that was not my intent. Um, in fact, the opposite. I fully support the Canadian Armed Forces. Um, I'm constantly uh, recruiting actively and I'm not on anyone's payroll. And for folks that have reached out to me in the last couple of years with uh, looking for guidance, mentorship, because they're either curious or interested in joining the Canadian Armed Forces or specifically one of the special operation force um, organizations, I help guide them and I help answer questions. Now, what's cool about this is I, w I received a message from a gentleman who used to serve in uh, C uh, CSOR. He retired from CSOR in 2019 and he's now running a very successful security business in the UK. Him and I chatted yesterday for about 30 minutes, had a great discussion about our time um, in the unit, how we cross paths with each other. We worked with each other a little bit in Afghanistan. Um, and, and anyway, where, where we're going with that is like, there's an opportunity for us to talk about our experiences for those who are interested in life in one of those organizations. And that's what we're going to do. And we're going to have a great discussion. I'm looking forward to it in the first week of December. So the first week of December, him and I are going to connect. We're actually going to do it today. Um, but his schedule, he got pulled away to take care of some stuff. I'm traveling this evening and uh, we just didn't have time today. It was a bit rushed. So we're going to connect the first week of December and we're going to address some of those questions. And we're going to talk about the differences and we're going to talk about some of the parallels and, and some of the cross training that happened. And hopefully it sheds some light. And uh, if anything, it, it supports some interest to folks that are already in the Canadian Air Forces, maybe looking for a life in, uh, in the soft community, or maybe folks that are literally still in high school and are trying to figure out what their next bound is. Hopefully this will promote some interest and shed some positive on life in the Canadian Air Forces and a career in soft. That was the intent. That is the intent. And for folks that have been following me and, and know me for more than 10 minutes, they'll know that my intentions are pure positive. Although what I say sometimes you may not agree with, that's okay. Know that I'm, I'm speaking the truth. I'm speaking from experience. Um, so you may not like what I say or may not agree with it, but it, it is the truth from, from the horse's mouth. What went, uh, what went down, how things are. And this is my perspective. Do things change? Yes, things change all of the time. Um, that being said, my intentions are pure and positive and with good intentions. I certainly was not trying to suggest for one second that the NHL or AHL um, analogy was um, even remotely close comparing professional to semi-professional. That was not the intent. So if that's how it was heard, uh, unfortunately, that's not a me problem. That's a, an understanding problem or a listening problem because that is not the words. Those are not the words that I used and that was not the intent. So that being said, 
I'm really looking forward to having this conversation with a former CSOAR operator who retired in 2019. And for those who know, I retired from JTF2 in 2019. So it should be a great discussion. We'll talk about um, the similarities, the comparisons, and hopefully answer a few questions that the viewers might have. All right, so tune in. That's coming the first week of December. Um, you know, tune in, share with your friends, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate the support and keep fit, remain humble, always stay in the fight.